Okay, so Thor, Love and Thunder. So this was obviously gonna be like another, let's go see Thor, but I didn't film anything leading up to it because I was hanging out with my friend all day and I just didn't think of it. Wanted to film the my little review part afterwards and talk about it because I did not like this movie really at all. At this point, I'm just genuinely very disappointed in like phase four of Marvel. Is this phase four? I don't know. Whatever phase we're in of Marvel movies, the only things I have like really, 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 really liked have been Spider-Man, No Way Home, Shang-Chi, and Moon Knight. Other than that, everything has either been good or I just have not liked at all. And Thor, unfortunately, was something I did not like at all. If you saw on Instagram, I posted, I gave this movie a 3 out of 10. Just like talking about Marvel in general, originally when I saw Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, I gave it a 7, but the more and more I think about it, the more I'm like, no, it does not deserve a 7. Like, it deserves, I don't know, maybe a 5. I just, I don't know. The only thing I liked about Doctor Strange was everything happening with Wanda. Other than that, I just wasn't a big fan of it. Honestly, like I totally expected like Shang-Chi to be in Doctor Strange because of the fact that Wong was in Shang-Chi. I expected him to be in Doctor Strange and he, the fact that he wasn't just kind of upset me and like I know I'm supposed to be talking about Thor but like I just like went on a huge rant about just like Marvel in general after we saw Thor so I just need to say a few things. I'm just really annoyed with the fact that they keep introducing so many characters and so many things that then they do nothing with. Like some of them I'm like whatever like the Eternals that movie was horrible but the fact that they haven't like been in anything yet they set up other things for it it's like hey well what's gonna happen with them like you just had a movie for them but nothing's gonna happen same thing with shang chi same thing with moon knight and now with thor i don't want to say what but something was kind of introduced at the end of thor that i'm not gonna say right now but basically a new superhero was introduced at the end of thor that it's like hey are we actually gonna get something with this character or is it just going to be like the eternals or moon knight where it's like cool look at this cool new character we have nothing else is gonna happen with them i was not impressed with thor i have been very unimpressed with marvel in general lately moon knight was fantastic but who knows if anything else is gonna actually happen with moon knight i don't even know if they've announced a second season and even just like this happened at the end of the movie i don't necessarily think it's a spoiler but the fact that at the very end of thor love and thunder they did say like thor will return i'm like hey how many movies does Thor need? This is now Thor's fourth movie. Don't get me wrong, Thor is a funny character, but it's just like, hey, but what else is gonna happen with Thor in particular? The only things I really kind of liked, I liked Christian Bale's character, the God Butcher. I thought it was very interesting and I really liked kind of like the idea of him like praying to gods that basically just like laughed in his face even though he lost his daughter. In my opinion, like his actions were kind of justified, maybe not necessarily to kill all of the gods, but like the fact that the very beginning of this movie, he's praying and wanting anything, water, food, to save his daughter, and then he loses his daughter just for when he finally actually meets the god that he was praying to. This god laughs in his face for praying to him and basically like, they all laugh at him and make fun of him. I was like, yeah, I'd kill him too if I could. So I really liked Christian Bale's character. I thought he did a really good job at being this really creepy shadow kind of villain. I thought he did really good. I liked that Natalie Portman was brought back in. I really liked that because honestly, between Thor the Dark World and then like Ragnarok, it was kind of like, where did Jane go? I always kind of wondered that. Like, I know in... Endgame he kind of mentioned that Jane Foster was like an old flame of his but I always kind of like wondered like where did Jane go like what happened with her I really liked seeing like that they did have kind of like a little bit of a love story and a romance that just couldn't work because she was like this huge 
scientist and he's a god and a superhero so it was just a romance and a love story that could never work so i really liked that and i liked seeing that even though despite those things they still obviously loved each other obviously tessa thompson as valkyrie and taika waititi as krog krog is that his name yeah krog were fantastic krog is absolutely hilarious love him i think one of my biggest issues with this movie and even like my friend kind of said this which i don't know i don't really agree with this she said that she read that this movie is definitely more of a comedy than it is a superhero movie everything was a joke kind of like i felt like there was very minimal action scenes in comparison to like jokes and funny things and I really wish that they would have kept it a superhero movie because I feel like Marvel is really good at that for being obviously superhero movies with a little bit of humor thrown in but this movie just had way too much humor in my opinion for a superhero movie like I feel like Krog is supposed to be there as the comic relief and he definitely was he was hilarious and great I feel like Thor should have a few good lines because Thor is funny in general but I feel like it was just like almost too much everything they acted like a joke like even when they go to visit all the gods and the one god i don't want to say who just in case i haven't really watched the trailer so i don't know if this is actually revealed in the trailer so anyway but one of the main gods that they go to try to get help from it's supposed to be like that he flicks away thor's disguise to see who he actually is and he flicks away everything and then thor is naked i didn't find that funny at all like i was like why did that have to be there like sure chris hemsworth has a lovely tushy i thought it was very unnecessary i felt a lot of things were very unnecessary humor wise like i thought it was almost too much also my absolute biggest grievance with this movie am i just not aware of the rules of like mirror and stormbreaker because is everyone worthy now when we left the movie sam told me i guess stormbreaker has different rules than mirror that you don't have to be worthy to hold stormbreaker or something but I just feel like Thor was like throwing around Stormbreaker like nobody's business and I mean don't get me wrong loved Natalie Portman being able to wield Mjolnir because of like she's now like Lady Thor or whatever or the Mighty Thor I thought that was really cool however in a way it took away from the absolute amazing scene that was Endgame when Cap was worthy of Mjolnir. I feel like this movie definitely like took away from that in the sense that it's like, oh, it was like an amazing thing that only Cap was ever able to pick up the hammer besides obviously Thor. And then there was like all this stuff around that that it was like, oh, he knew in Age of Ultron that he was able to pick it up, but he didn't want to kind of like show off or like make Thor feel bad. So he never really embraced being worthy of Mjolnir until Endgame when he like absolutely had to. And that is like one of the most incredible movie scenes that I like in, for my generation. In my lifetime, I never got to experience something as incredible as like The Empire Strikes Back where Darth Vader says he's Luke Skywalker's father I never got to experience like learning that in the cinema for the first time and just being absolutely floored by this like movie revelation but I did get to experience in the theater seeing Cap be able to wield Mjolnir and losing my absolute mind when that happened and I feel like the fact that Thor can just kind of say to Mjolnir I want you to protect that person and that person and that person and that person over there and now Mjolnir can wield them it kind of takes away from that in my opinion talking about just Marvel in general here I know I should be talking about Thor similarly to that that was one of my biggest grievances with the show Loki was in Loki he goes to like I don't know the time continuum place that I don't know the name of off the top of my head he sees on one of the workers desks the infinity stones and he goes to pick them up to use the power that the infinity stones hold and then he realizes that everyone has tons of infinity stones just laying around their desks and the one guy's like oh yeah aren't they pretty i use them as a paperweight um in my opinion that kind of took away from literally the entire plot point 
of the Infinity Stones in the Marvel movies. Like, it really made everything feel lesser. Like, it made everything that happened in Infinity War, Endgame, everything that happened with that, and everything that happened with the Infinity Stones and Thanos, it made it feel not important anymore because of this one little comment that oh the infinity stones actually are nothing in comparison to this time whatever those two things in my opinion are very similar like something that held so much weight whether it was the infinity stones or cap wielding mirror honestly lost so much effect in my personal opinion with these things that have like come about that oh infinity stones actually mean nothing and oh anyone can wield Mjolnir if Thor says so. I brought up this comment to my friend as we were leaving the movie. She said well yeah because like that's what Odin did. He said that Thor is worthy but Thor is Odin's son so obviously he's gonna be worthy but he has to earn that worthiness like that was the whole plot of the first Thor. He was Thor and he was worthy. And then I forget what he did, but he did something that Odin was like, no, you're not worthy anymore. And he banished him to earth. And in that movie, Thor finds Mjolnir, goes to pick him up and can't because he's not worthy anymore. And he has to earn back being worthy of Mjolnir. He can just say to anyone, I want you to be protected and Mjolnir please protect them at any cost and now they can wield it. I didn't like it. I really, 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 really didn't like it. I actually don't know if I have many things to say that are actually like spoiler worthy. I know it was revealed in the trailer that Jane is the mighty Thor and she can wield Mjolnir so obviously that wasn't a spoiler or anything so I don't think I have much to say spoiler wise nothing in this movie was like whoa oh my god like how Endgame was to me like there was nothing in this movie that like made my jaw drop made me like fall out of my seat and like whoa I can't believe that just happened nothing like that happened so I don't think I have anything like spoilery to say about it but like I said I did not like this movie there was so many things about it that made me just like dislike Marvel and it just stinks because I really like Marvel Endgame was incredible like Endgame was a cinematic masterpiece in my opinion I've liked the spider-man movies that have come out like I loved no way home I thought it was incredible but again like so many things have been like opened up that nothing seems to be getting resolved like we have Loki with the whole time thing and that the time god was killed or whatever. We have the Eternals that I haven't seen anything for ever. We have Shang-Chi who like I said I thought was gonna be in Doctor Strange and then he wasn't. We have Moon Knight, this whole new character that in my opinion is have, has been one of the best new characters to come about and nothing has happened with him. We have all the side plot with the I forget his name, but the guy who became Captain America in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we have what happened with him. Like, what what is going to happen with him? And now, like, with Doctor Strange, we have, like, this whole multiverse. I know so many new things were announced, and I am excited for quite a few of them. I am very excited for Wakanda Forever. I think that's the one I'm most excited for. But other than that, I've just, I'm just losing so much interest in Marvel things. Anyway, that is my thoughts on Thor, Love and Thunder slash Marvel in general. I'm just not loving how things are going right now. I will try to keep my hopes alive for this next phase that has been launched. Hopefully there's something in there that is actually like really good. I'm not expecting something to be as incredible immediately as like Endgame was but like we could still try to make some good movies like Captain America Civil War or any of the Spider-Man movies. That is it for now. I know this video wasn't happy or anything because I just genuinely did not really like this movie in the slightest. If you like Thor, if you really 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 like Marvel, sure go see it. My friend really liked it. But if you're not super into it or if you're kind of like losing steam on Marvel like I am, wait till it comes out on Disney Plus. That is it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. I post new videos every single Friday and I'd love to have you here. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye everybody.